Hello friends, I welcome you all to .NET Tracks AWS course. Today in this particular video, we are going to learn how we can create an account on Amazon Web Services platform. You can either use your default Amazon account, get it converted into the upgraded to use the AWS console, or you can create a fresh account too. So today we are going to demonstrate how you can create or manage AWS account, Amazon Web Services account by using fresh email address, creating account from the beginning, from the start. This is very much important since uh, you're going to practice various AWS services and going to, uh, we'll try to create other uh, AWS based applications or maybe um, try out some uh, website creation or some game development or something, whatever thing you want to try out. The first step is to have fully functional AWS account. So this is the website which is on your screen aws.amazon.com. If you type it out, uh, you will get to see this page. Now in my account, click on AWS Management Console or you can click on complete sign up. There's not an issue. Generally, it will ask you for this ID or password or ask you to log in. But since you are setting up it for the first time, click on create a new AWS account. Here it is going to ask you about the email address. So you can uh, type your email. I'm going to copy paste my email address here. It will ask me for the password, whatever password I want to set it up. So it will give you the password requirement also, what kind of requirement this password should have. So you need to satisfy those password requirement. What is the account name that I want to have? So I can say that I want to have uh, there's some asterisks. We can change it later on also. I'll see if I get this name, the cloud guy. Click continue. What kind of account I want to have with this, were professional or personal? There are certain limitations. Your some services may not be available, like some uh, support related services will not be available in personal account case. So you should have professional in that case. But since we are we are learning AWS and most of the things that we are going to create are in the test environment. So we should choose the choose this personal account. Professional account is also important for the people who want to submit their tax related or audit related things. So they can use they can go for professional. But I hope all of you are learning right now. That's why you are here on our platform. So choose person. Now the phone number I can provide whatever phone number you have access to region i can give address you agree to terms and condition now click create account and continue now uh, one important step is it is going it will going to ask you uh, the credit card or debit card number so that it will uh, roughly it will try to uh, check whether that card has a functionality functional card or not which is uh, nowadays almost a mandatory kind of requirement so I'm going to type my number here, expiration date. This information is editable later on. You can edit this information later on via payment method, CVV number, PAN card information, text settings page or something you want to update later on, you can add it. I can type it down here. So these are all the steps which are important for the verification purpose. So you need to fill these details so aws takes great care while creating the password or pin so six digit number i need to add i hope this should work a phone verification is there and a capture so quite extensive verification process we need to undergo now it is going to give me a call i'll just mute the sound here so i'm getting the call here so there's some kind of issue here let me try it out again so I'm going to type the number here. So in this manner, we have verified our account. So quite extensive and a quite elaborate uh, process is there. This is the support plan. You can have this or I can, you can uh, see what are the plans, basic plan, which included all accounts. This plan is included in all accounts, 24 by seven self-service access to forums, resources, documents you can check blocks you can read uh, best practices documents are there for you to follow health status and notification you will get 
you can create them also the monitoring system under the developer plan and let me remind you these the question does appear when you go for any kind of exam especially in cloud practitioner and sometimes in solution architect also uh, you will get to see these kind of questions where it's been asked what kind of services you will get for the diff various plans like where you will get the technical account manager tam so that is that those kind of questions generally you will receive in your certification exam so developer plan is for early adoption testing development email access primary contact can uh, open unlimited number of support cases so here we cannot open any kind of support tickets but here we can and uh, the response window is under 12 hours for non production system for business plan you uh, 24 by 7 chat phone and email support is there and it's also quite good i have used this plan business plan and the uh, uh, response time is under 1 hour and uh, mostly chat their solution architects are quite uh, competent they provide you to the point and very focused approach to resolve whatever issue you are facing with your production within your production environment or even in your test environment uh, there is another fourth level of uh, support which is enterprise level support so uh, here are which is, but it is quite costly it is $15,000 per month but uh, you can understand this is for enterprise grade organization big organization where the dedicated team a dedicated technical account manager being assigned to you who will look after and the response time is also very uh, pretty f fast then the resolution is also pretty fast so uh, depending upon what kind of business you are running what kind of user you are what like what kind of what level of infrastructure you have deployed on aws you can go for whatever plan you have most of the time for the test we are going to restrict ourselves to basic plan which is there already under this account sometimes people go for this plan also those who are working as a professional in their respective company as a solution architect or as a developer uh, associate or devops professional they generally go for this plan uh, because it is also helpful quite helpful it is so but we'll restrict ourselves to basic plan so that is free too so that's the benefit here this is the uh, enterprise support so what all you will get 24 by 7 access to senior cloud support engineers via email chat or phone you can uh, open unlimited number of cases under unlimited contacts case severity and response time generic guidance less than 24 hours system impaired less than 12 hours production system impaired less than four hours production system down less than one hour and business critical system down is less than 15 minutes so that level of support is there under the enterprise level for which you are paying fifteen thousand dollar a month a dedicated technical account manager will be assigned to you you can contact he provides you he or she provides you advocacy and guidance to help plan build solution using best practices and keep your aws environment optionally healthy operationally healthy uh, support concierge and aws uh, trusted advisor full checks uh, this is something which uh, we are going to discuss separately there is a very new service which which is also a very robust one which will guide you uh, as per the best practices and um, under the the pillars of aws best recommended practices the infrastructure that you should have it guide you on security reliability and cost optimization it guides you aws personal health dashboard it's a personalized view of the health of aws services and alerts when your resources are impacted okay so there's a health api for integration with your existing management system so all sorts of information is there all sorts of like though the price is extremely high for a medium or small scale business but for the enterprise grade i i definitely agree that this plan is the one which actually justify its price you have a team there a very fully functional and fully robust technical team is there qualified certified people who are there to help you so they are uh, like you can say that their uh, salary part is also comes alongside with this thing uh, you need for a good team you need you have to uh, uh, spend a good amount of money so uh, that thing justify the high cost of this particular plan so we are here we'll go for free plan and right now we are here and you can personalize your experience and uh, there are tutorials also so there this is the way that you can get the tutorials all kind of help and assistance you will get from aws uh, next video will proceed from here on to how to get into your aws account